Hey guys, how's it going? Now plenty of guys are clean installing Windows 11 on the PCs or just buying a new PC that comes or ships with Windows 11. While all of that sounds good, not everyone wants to log in with a Microsoft account, right? Maybe you just want an offline account. And earlier, you could just select the sign-in options and choose to log in with an offline account. And that would be it. Now, while that feature exists in Windows 11, it's only there for the Pro editions. If you're someone who owns Windows 11 Home Edition, you're just out of luck. Or are you? Well, that's what this video is all about. In today's video, I'll show you how you can easily create an offline account when you're trying to set up Windows 11 for the first time. Let's get started. Alright, so the actual process is super simple. So if you installed Windows 11 on your PC and are now setting it up, after the initial steps where you selected your region and keyboard layout, you will see the let's connect you to a network page. Now the trick happens here. Just press the shift plus F10 keys together on your keyboard. And this will open up a command prompt window. Here, type in task MGR and press enter. The familiar task manager window should now open up. Now in the processes tab, find and kill the process called network connection flow. And that's it. Click back on the setup window and Windows should automatically proceed to ask you a name for the offline account. Now, alternatively, another way you can do this is by just turning off the internet. So for instance, if your laptop is connected to the Wi-Fi, when you reach the setup page, first connect it to a Wi-Fi of your choice. Then when the setup asks you to log into your Microsoft account, just turn off the Wi-Fi. Click on back and then the setup will automatically proceed you to creating an offline account. If you're doing this on a desktop, you can do the same thing by just well removing the LAN cable of the internet and that'll be it. You'll just basically removing the internet access. And that's it. I mean, this is fairly stupid of Microsoft to remove this feature from home users because let's be honest, not everybody wants to have a Microsoft account connected to their PCs. So yeah, I mean, if you don't own a professional license, have a home license and want to just create an offline account, this video should have solved your queries. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Speaking of more content, we already have a ton of other videos around Windows 11, which you can check out from the links down below. Till then, this is one from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.